Welcome back to the channel, it's me, Engine Hall. Today we're going to do the Spring Layout Spectacular! So, we're going to head over to the shop and get the spectacular going. And always welcome and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Let's get the DJ. And welcome to our Spring Layer Spectacular! Spectacular. Woo! Yeah! All right! Woo. All right! We finally did it. How long have you been waiting to make this video? Since the last time we made the video. Really? I've been waiting till now. To now? Well, here we have it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so exciting because we're going to see all the layouts that you guys have submitted. There are so many great ones. As a matter of fact, our first one comes all the way from a Denny's restaurant. So it's pretty interesting. Well, let's check out what Denny's got for us today. Oh, it's Denny? It's oh, Denny. I thought it was Denny's. The rest? Oh. Nah, it was Denny. Oh, well, thank you, Denny, excited. for submitting our, your I'm layout. I'm hungry to now. You're hungry now? I thought we were going to Denny's. Uh, let me do something. Right, go ahead. Do your thing. But anyway, Denny, thank you for sending us a picture of your layout for the Spring Layout. Spectacular! So let's get into it and see what Denny got going on with his layout. All right, so as you can see here, this is his layout. He is labeled in his HO Downtown USA. As you can see, there is a lot of happening there. I'll, I'll tell you what, that is gridlock traffic if I've ever seen one. You're not lying about that. There's a lot of traffic there on the expressway, but he got a lot of buildings, tall buildings in the background that looks very nice. Looks like maybe a little Lego happening there too. Oh, yeah. Cool, so let's take a look at this shot there. Those buildings are pretty spectacular. Yep, very tall. And I see got that nice sunlight coming in from the outside. But there is massive gridlock happening there. <laughs> <laughs> there is not one car getting to its destination on time. Uh, but you know what? He definitely modeled a downtown USA. Very cool. And I'm sure whatever trains that he has operating this stuff. And he actually... I uh, shared a couple of uh, brass pieces that he is interested in. I'm sure whatever brass pieces that he has populating this uh, railroad definitely looks awesome. So, Denny, this is some awesome work. We love it. So, that was cool. So, that was Denny's uh, downtown HO layout. And, boy, I'm telling you, after seeing that, I, I still want a Grand Slam. I, I want some Denny's. He hungry right now. All right, so our next layout comes all the way from Chris Rock. That's not from Chris Rock. It says Chris. It does say Chris, and the last thing definitely don't say Rock. It could be Chris Rock. No, we'll see. Anyway, his layout has a whole bunch of stuff happening in a rather small space, and I really love what's happening here, so let's check it out. All right.
<laughs> wow, that looked really cool. I love the diesel locomotives and all the uh, definite attention to detail. Oh yeah, they definitely got a lot of a lot of uh, high horsepower there, pulling a lot of freight cars, and definitely got a lot going on it. And I love the elevation that he has on his layout. You know what? To be honest with you, I kind of wish I could see what it looks like at night. Well, I'm glad you asked, cause we got a video of it at night. Well, let's check it out. Well, definitely Chris did a lot of uh, lighting there. It looks spectacular. Uh, Chris, the lights look awesome. One day I wish I could get my layout lit just like yours. Oh, one day. One Baby day. Baby steps. Yep. Hey, guess what? We got another one for Bert. Not from Ernie yet? No, Bernie's in the boats or something. Oh, boats. Hey, uh, Ernie, <laughs> I need a video. Uh, Ernie, Ernie, I need a video. Bert killing the game right now. But, you know, Bert sent us a song from Steve from the Oak Valley Pennsylvania Railroad. Ooh, let's check it out. Wow, that was really cool, and I really like he added some new scenic details, including some static grass, some new building interiors, and some uh, additional lighting features. 
You're a master of conversation. Uh, always. All right, well, guess what? We got now the best one that we're going to show. That's right, we're going back to my railroad. To so your railroad? Yeah. Well, what is the name of your railroad? Explain to the folks what your railroad is all about. Uh, We run trains. Yeah. And then we do it again. Yeah. That's our mission statement. Well, guys, there you have it. Yep. Anyway, so we're going to take a look at five different uh, operating locomotives because, you know, Engineer Hall gets on me for being such a steam lover, so I did throw some diesels into this one, including one from my favorite, the Reading and Northern. So uh, are you excited? I'm You're super, excited? I'm excited to see the Reading and Northern. Woo! Let's make it happen. Let's go to the Morristown Southern on the DJ Railroad. Dispatcher, we're ready. Is it okay to pull? Over. Take the green. Out.
wasn't that spectacular. Wow. I know, right? Oh. Ooh. So did you like all the Reading and Northern engines? You know what? That's a, a different take on a um on a different scale for me. And I definitely like what you got going on there. So we have the Reading Team 1, which is uh, Andy Bowler at Reading and Northern just got the operational. So we got that running. Okay. We got uh, one of those SD, uh, 30, uh, SD38s, I think. And actually, one of the neat ones is they, there was a 10-wheeler that they have on display right. while my railroad it operates. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. Let's see it again. It's very funny. It was so cool. I just want to see it again. No, uh, that's okay. You know what? We'll check it out another time. But no, thanks for submitting your layout to our uh, spring layout spectacular. Thank so, you. So we'll see it again. You no, know, they can go back and rewind it. And I know see I will. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. As soon as I go to Denny's. <laughs> well, I guess we're uh, Burnt Ernie going to come down, huh? Never know. Uh, there we go. All right, so our next layout is from Alexander Hamilton himself. I thought he was dead. No, no, no. It's not Alexander Hamilton. It's Alexander. Two to, totally two different people. So you're telling me that no celebrity submitted a video to this thing? No, they didn't. But you know who did? Alexander did. So to check out his layout. Right, let's take a look at it. As you can see, this layout is really cool. As he wrote in his email, this is a work in progress, but I think he's definitely heading in the right direction. Oh, definitely. It's got a lot of um, mainline there, about what, uh, four mainline tracks there. A lot of horsepower. I like the, how he's going with the oil refinery scene there with the shell oil refinery. We got a little uh, loading station there. I like the buildings that we have here, especially. That looks pretty intricate, the uh, detailing and design there. I really like that. Oh, we definitely have a nice, we'll have a nice downtown uh, look there. And I see got a church that looks pretty cool. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I see this big open space over here. And I'm sure in the next couple of years, that's going to be filled up pretty soon. Uh, I bet you it will be. As you know, when you come up with these layouts, you're never really finished. Oh, you never are finished. There's always something to add, to take away from. But you know what? I want you to enjoy building your model railroad to all that matters. Just like mine, which we're going to see again right now. No, we no, we're going to save for the people. All right, so we got another video from Dan Aykroyd. It's not, Dan Aykroyd did not send us anything. It's just right there, Dan. Did you ever see Blues Brothers? Oh, yeah, I like Blues Brothers. Yeah. Still with the glasses Ooh, on. And stuff, and dancing. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, but we do have a video, or a photograph rather, from Dan. So check out this trestle that he built. And I really like this look here. This is very picturesque. Don't you agree? Yeah, yes, I, I like the trussel and those Cairo uh, engines with the, the blue. Uh, it sets it apart. It sets it off. I'll tell you what. If you frame this just in the right way, you could probably convince people that this is a real railroad here. Yeah, hey, absolutely. Um, you see a lot of foliage there and stuff. And I believe I see a uh, river scene down on the bottom. That looks awesome. Obviously, this is not something they hang together in one day. So... Awesome job, Dan. I really like what you did here. And hopefully, uh, you know, truthfully on my railroad, I hope to have something that looks like that one day. So well done to you. We have a, another submission from Christian. Oh, no. Seriously? Last time his layout was a piece of track with a, tra a car on it. It wasn't even on the track. But he said he updated and added scenery. He added scenery to that. Yeah. All right, everyone. Here's Christian's layout. Let's take a look. Are you kidding me? That's adding scenery. He just put a, bo a bottle of things next to it. But you mean he added some to it, though. It's in the bottle still. <sighs> That's terrible. Is, uh, update is an update, isn't it? A, a, a crummy update. That's ridiculous. <phone rings> what? All right, Christian's gone. Hello? You guys are really mean. Forget it. All right, well, that was Christian's layout. Uh, layout. Now we're going to conclude our layout spring spectacular with uh, Larry here. The cable guy. We ain't got no celebrities. We got YouTubers. We, got, we don't have celebrities on one thing. It's this Larry. Okay. So let's take a look at Larry's uh, layout. As you can see, we have a picture of an RS3 coming through a trestle. And once again, I think that's actually a very picturesque type of photograph. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I definitely agree. The trestle, um, the bridge, it looks uh, very nice. It's uh, painted 
And uh, I like the, the, the ground technique here. You look like you use a little dirt there, a little uh, mixture there. It's very nice. I like the fact that the rails look rusted, too. Well, that has been our submissions for our Spring Layout Spectacular. Did you have a good time? Oh, I had a great time. I'm glad that you guys submitted your videos and photos to our Spring Spectacular. I think we might have to do this again, maybe in the wintertime. Oh, you're going to have a winter spectacular? No, I no. think in a winter layout wonderland. Oh, that's yeah. even better. Okay. Oh, God. Now, if you want to submit your videos and photos to the winter one, just uh, send it to engineerhallchannel at gmail.com. You know, and it's always great to see what you guys and gals do out there because there's just so many great takes that you could do with this type of stuff. Like, for example, my layout. I run steam, I run diesel, I really don't care. It's what I like, how I do it, and that's kind of the great thing about this hobby is there's no right or wrong way to do it. There's only your way, so keep that up. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for coming in. Of course, our, our show is also always brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. Of course, if you see anything on the Yankee Dabbler website, we got some new videos coming out. But we got a ton of new products that we're going to be showcasing, including a bunch of diesels, and I know how you love your diesels. I love diesels, but I do also have a thing for steam engines also. See, I'm turning him into a steam guy slowly but surely. So stay tuned for some new Engineer Hall videos showcasing some new products of Yankee Dabbler. I think you're really going to like it. Well, Engineer Hall, do you have any closing thoughts? No, I just all, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel, watched the Edge in the Hall video, look at the what's new at Yankee Dabbler, uh, seeing DJ and I here on the uh, channel. Um, I'm, I'm nothing else to say. I'm very happy how things are going. Very good. All right. Well, until next time, and if you are a celebrity and you're watching this, Rod Stewart, we know you have trains. Send them in. All right. Get them in here. Do you, uh, what, what's the likelihood that that will happen? I'm going to give a hard probably because, you know, a lot of you guys out there got connections. Connect to Rod Stewart. We want go. him on this layout there in the go. show. All right. So until next time, I'm DJ. And I'm Engineer Hall. And we'll see you next time. All board.